Trisha, my final question for you is, what three specific tips you can give to job seekers besides all the tips that we spoke during the week, resume, uh, customizing resume, networking, uh, how to behave in front of the camera and distinguishing yourself, what other tips you can give to job seekers in 20 yeah. I think that's a really great question. I think one of the biggest things is begin to build your professional brand online, right? We've increasingly moved to a more digital society due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's important that you make your digital presence known. Um, starting with LinkedIn, um, you know, make sure you have that robust LinkedIn profile that you're, you're posting on LinkedIn about things that are relevant to what you're trying to do, that you're engaging with thought leaders inside of the field. Then maybe if you have the, if you have the time and the capacity, expand that out. Maybe it's starting with a website or a portfolio or whatever the case may be to the showcase your work and what you're able to do. But our, our online brand presence is going to be increasingly important in this environment. So it's really, it's really imperative that we start to build that mm -hmm. and make sure that we're nurturing that in all ways possible. Um, the second one, I know you said outside of what we talked about, but I have to bring this back in because it is incredibly important. It is focusing on that networking. Yes. You, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it is the most important thing when it comes to a job search because you can actually land jobs without ever applying online through networking. Yeah. Um, you know, and so what I tell people is you want to try to get informational interviews. And for, for people who don't know what those are, they're essentially a meeting with someone, a professional that's inside of the industry or a company companies that you want to work in so you can gather more information, whether that be about them, the company, the position that they have. Um, but those informational interviews, um, if, you, if you ask the right questions, you can position that person as an authority figure, as a mentor of sorts, and you can sort of transition that relationship into an advocacy relationship where they are advocating for you inside of the spaces that they're in. If they find open positions, if they want to refer you, if they have friends that have positions that are open that match your skill set, whatever the case may be. But networking is going to be so importantly, so so important inside of your job search, um, especially with um, the way the current job search landscape is, seeing as it's very competitive, right? So so I had to bring that one back in there, even though we already talked about it. Um, but the last one I would say is for job seekers who are having a hard time getting exactly where they want to go, I would say consider the transferability of your skills to booming industries, right? Because what we know is that some industries were really, really impacted by COVID-19. And many of those industries are not necessarily hiring new people right in this moment. But what you want to figure out is how your skills transfer to the, the industries that are booming in this space right now. So LinkedIn actually just released a list of their top 15 um, or fastest growing positions for 2021. Um, so you could actually go in there and see some of the things that they were listing. Um, you know, frontline e-commerce roles, like people who are drivers, supply chain associates, package handlers, mm -hmm. um, loan and mortgage experts, um, healthcare support staff, business development and sales professionals, um, workplace diversity. Those are some of the areas that we're seeing booming quite a bit in, in this current time. So what you want to do is really figure out how your skills can transfer to some of those areas. And then you may be able to get positions in companies that um, are currently hiring. And you can then utilize those new skills that you're gaining to position yourself when your industry gets back on its feet. Those are great tips, Trisha. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to give those great tips. And I hope my audience or whoever is watching or listening will benefit and implement when they start uh, applying to jobs. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, job seekers strategies, please leave comments below. You can reach to us to our social platforms to help you if you have any other questions. And tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing. Christian, thank you very much, my friend. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.